Chris Dilosa, and welcome to the number one cooking show in the online game. I'm so stupid anyway. Hey guys, it's Bro You Whack. Welcome back to another episode of Chef You Whack, an online cooking series where we F up recipes. <laughs> Today we have a recipe that I never thought that I was going to be making in my whole entire life, which is going to be a Tracer inspired fish and chips recipe. Now you see why I started off the video the way that I did. All the English are gonna judge me and roast me in the comments section. Tracer obviously being the most English character in the game, or really the only English character in the game. So of course the Overwatch cookbook is gonna give her a fish and chips recipe. I'm assuming it's like the most English dish you could ever make, right next to tea and crumpets. But I made fish and chips before? Never! But this is gonna be a first time for all of us. I wish there was a first time for everything. But let's F up a fish and chips recipe. So of course we're have the typical dries, the flours, the cornstarch, the cocaine, but this wouldn't be an Overwatch cooking recipe with a whole lot of salt. And boy, oh boy, are we gonna have some salt. And this also wouldn't be a chef you whack episode if I didn't spend five dollars on a spice that I'm never gonna need. We need scion red pepper. I have a spice cabinet full of stuff that I never use, bruh. First world problems, am I right? We also need one bottle of amber ale, non-alcoholic of course, because I'm a- would you believe me if I said this was my first six pack of beer that I ever bought? We're also gonna need one pound of Call of Duty and a whole lot of vegetable oil to burn ourselves again. Oh, ah, ah. oh the English are probably wondering, bro, you act, where is the chips for this fish and chips recipe? Don't worry, I got the chips. Nah, I'm just up here to kill myself. All right. Let's get it started. I'm just kingling all you English folk. I know you don't actually have just regular chips. You have to cook them in the oven first. I probably triggered so many English people with that bit. <laughs> no, we're actually gonna make some french fries. Let's get serious and get started. So we're gonna need a mixing bowl first. You know the drill and how this goes. Every single recipe we make always starts with flour. We need a whole lot of flour and a whole lot of baking. So not really a whole lot, just just one tablespoon. The most important ingredient that makes this an Overwatch recipe, salt. This calls for one teaspoon of salt, but... Yeah, that should be good enough. It's gonna be really salty, but we love salt here. Then the cyan, we got the red pepper that I'm never ever gonna use. Then we take our Betty Crocker, God dang it, the, the washing machine wiped away the logo. Now how else will people know that I'm a professional chef? Even though that this whisk is made for children, which is perfect for me because like, look, look. Is the, is the whisk supposed to do that? And there we go, we got the dries. That's always the easy part. Now comes the F up. Now we gotta take our non-alcoholic beer because again, I'm a <laughs> Recipe only calls for one bottle. I don't know what to do with the rest of these. Like, if you want to come by and have a drink, you totally can. It won't get you drunk and you'll say hate your life. Again, if you didn't believe that this was my first beer that I ever bought, I don't have a bottle opener. <laughs> Will this work? Oh, no, that left a dent. Can I take a knife? Oh my god, it's actually working! I hear the sun! Oh my god, ow! Ah. I got it! Just use your dining table if you're ever in a pinch. I know how to pour a beer. <laughs> oh, shit! No, no, no! I'm just kidding! I'm just- Pour it lightly and then whisk and then- Oh, god dang it. Oh, boy. Uh, Betty Crocker. What are you doing, ma'am? All right, uh, uh, we're taking matters into our own hands. Literally, I'm using my own hands to mix this. So I don't know when my camera stopped, but here we have our nice, smooth batter. That's smooth in my book. It's still kind of lumpy, but we just gotta put this inside. So a small bowl of cornstarch. Stay fresh, no mess. Well, I'm about to prove that saying wrong, right, Sean? God, God dang it, you lied! They always say a chef prepares all his ingredients beforehand. They never talk about preparing just utensils in general. God dang it, can you just get out, please? It's like baby powder. You say it's lying, it's making a mess right there! Just like my ex, oh, we'll be together forever, and then you leave it! I don't know how much we need, but there's a bowl filled with cornstarch. Oh, oh no. Uh, we have to heat a bowl up with oil. If you remember last time, things didn't go that good. They're combining again! No! All right, so we have this, we have this, we do this. Look at that pour, look at that pour. Also, by the way, I used canola oil last time. Still don't know what the canola is, but I have vegetable oil. What's the vegetable? Oh, shoot, I probably should have measured that. Ah, well, it's okay. Once again, because I'm invested in this cooking show, I got a thermometer! Who just gonna place you right shot on oh, the clip stays right there? That is so convenient, bro. Oh, there's our chips! I'm the max diabetes. Ooh, ooh, look at those golden brown English fries. So I guess while we wait for that, let's cut up some Call of Duty. All right, here she is. Oh, 
Oh, that's so good looking. Look at that cod. Oh, hey! He even came with a fish! Let's cut up a fish. Oh, that smells like your mom. So it says we have to cut this in lengths of one inch. I oh my god, an inch is so big. All right. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I never cut a fish, okay? Ah! Oh, oh, that actually, that was perfect. Let's cut these boys into third. Did that go through? Oh, oh, that's, that's a clink. I'm okay. I'm fine. Oh, what a clean, look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, no, oh, that's nice. Ladies and gentlemen, we got our fish sticks. Hey, what are you, uh, a gay fish, that is, oh my God. Now that we got our fish sticks, let's start burning the house down. Oh my God, this is not enough space. All right, that's, oh Jesus Christ on ice skates. Okay, um, uh, I'm sweating, one, because it's so hot in here, and two, I'm nervous, I'm gonna burn myself. Okay, so we take our cod and we put it in the batter. Let's just take this this middle piece and, oh God, what, what am I supposed to do? Drip the strips of fish. Oh, trust me, this fish got dripped. Do you see it's easies? I gotta stop, I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, well, that's not really a drip. That's more or less like a, a plunge. And then put it into the batter. Can you stay on the tong? Put it in the batter. Uh, um. Okay, it's not, it's not working, I love, oh my god, that's so thick, I mean, we like thick here, but I don't know if it's supposed to be this thick where it's, oh my god, um, English folk, does that look good? I feel like that's too much, we just have to do it, in three, two, one, oh, let's just cook one at a time, because I'm scared, oh, she's screaming, just get on over there, please, ma'am. Ma'am. Okay, we gotta cook this girl for two minutes. There's a little better point of view. There is a mess in here. The cornstarch lied. Oh, I got a little bit on the tip. No. Oh, I'm cooking the tongue. Says to cook in, for about two minutes until crispy golden brown. I'm gonna be honest, guys. That looks pretty good, don't it? What the f- All right, I think we just we just go again. Can't really see, but you've seen the process already, so you're an expert too, just like me. And we're gonna swim this in, in baby batter. Once she's covered in batter, oh, she's so thick. Drop her on in there again. There you go, have fun. I'm scared when it comes to cooking oil because I don't particularly want to die, but sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Hey, that's what Stylosa would say. Can you freaking flip over? While this is cooking, you can have some English chips while you wait. <laughs> Honestly though, how do these fries look? Pretty mediocre, but that's what happens when you can get store brand. Oh, she's screaming. That means it's perfect. Well, th that's a complete lie. It's a mess. All right, here's number three. Can you go? Thank you. You know, probably make this a little easier than using tongs. A freaking spoon, maybe? Maybe not. Uh, sir, I'm gonna need you to flip. I'm gonna need you to flip over. Uh, please don't splash, though. Stay. Uh, what the fudge did I just craft? Do you see this? This is not a fish, nor a chip. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. I'll flip you over. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, this is where I died. Ow! Oh, God, my face! Ow! Ow! Oh, that hurt! That was not very cash money of you, fish! Oh, that's a big boy! Let's try putting two in there at a time. Please play nice. Oh, I didn't kill you! Stop, I'm sorry! Why is it popping off like that? Oh my God, stop it! Let's just turn this off. Turn this off. I said stop it! Okay. 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 Okay, we did it. Only a few casualties along the way. Oh my god, I think we might actually be just done in general. <laughs> we have our fish, we have our chips, and we have our our, our real chips. <laughs> we have our real thumbnail because people don't like fun. But most importantly, we have dinner because I haven't eaten. But, you know, I, I kind of find it funny how most of these recipes I never have a drink. So, what better way to wash it down than with a non-alcoholic kid's drink? Kool-Aid. <laughs> I have all this beer over here and I choose to drink Kool-Aid. Let's go, boy. This one looks good for the taking. So, let's eat. Um, the last step I totally skipped. Because while it kind of tastes good, it tastes a little bland. And it calls for a good amount of salt. I'm not, well, maybe not that much. That's way too much. I poured way too much salt. All right. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Uh, uh. Oh, thank you, Kool-Aid. Oh. 
Oh my god. I get it that this is Overwatch, but that was way too salty. <laughs> it's good, but it's very plain. I'm kinda disappointed because I was expecting a, a flavorful pack-a-punch and not in Call of Duty. Well, this is Call of Duty. I mean, yeah. I probably should have salted these a little bit better. This one didn't even cook all the way. What, what the fudge? I don't know. Like, it's very plain. Like, I don't, mm. Stylosa and the rest of England, I'm sorry I, I talked down upon your dish. I don't even talk down upon it. I'm like talking like level with it. It's like, you're all right. Anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More recipes to come because you guys really like the series and I really like it too. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More watch videos to come and bye.